Hi, I'm Brian with ericssontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to discuss how flatworms are helpful to humans. Um, so flatworms are bilateral, so bilaterally symmetrical, unsegmented um, organisms. And they don't have a distinct um, body cavity, and they don't have a separate anus and mouth or a gut. Um, so they're lacking some major things um, that we tend to associate with, with more developed organisms. Um, they also are thin enough that they process oxygen by passing it through their outer membrane instead of having any sorts of gills or other processing systems. So that's pretty interesting. Um, over half of all flatworms are parasitic, um, and some of them have major harmful effects on humans. Um, one really good example of a harmful flatworm is schistosomiasis, also known as snail fever. Um, schistosomiasis um, tends to wreak havoc in places with lower sanitation levels, and uh, um, I personally have also gotten schistosomiasis, so I know and am familiar with flatworms. Um, but flatworms are used sometimes f to benefit humans as well. Um, there are two major ways that they're being used. Um, first of all, flatworms are being used um, to control invasive um, snails. So in Hawaii, there's this snail that's been introduced. I believe it's an African snail, and it doesn't have any predators. It doesn't have any sorts of control, so it's starting to cause a lot of problems. Um, they've introduced a certain type of flatworm, and it actually preys upon that snail um, and is helping to control that invasive population. Um, it's being used uh, flatworms are being used in similar contexts and other um, situations to control invasive species. So that's one way. The other way is that flatworms are being used to study the evolution of bivalves and the evolution of a through gut, so um, a difference between a mouth and an anus. Um, so they're being used um, in evolutionary studies as well. This has been a brief discussion how, of how flatworms, which are usually considered harmful, um, can actually benefit humans.